Hello, and welcome to our first National Will Fahey Art Gallery. This is a dog. This is just for one shot, don't worry. Would you, would you like to come in and observe my art? Come into my little gallery over here? Well then, let's go on in. Whoa, who let all this art in here? Whoever did all this art must be a pretty talented dude. For our art gallery today, we're gonna be ranking all the pieces. There's 16, right? So we're gonna do like 16 all the way to one. I don't know if real art galleries are supposed to be structured like this, but that's what we're doing. Maybe we'll learn a little something about ourselves. Number 16. This is the first one that was so shitty that we actually hide it so that when you open the door, there are some redeeming things about this one. I, I like the lamp. And I'm glad that we started with Steve Buscemi, but it looks like Gollum fucked Hillary Clinton. I'm glad that it happened. Let's move on to number 15. Number 15, Ninja Nicolas Cage. This one was a disappointment. I never knew what color his eyes were, so I just made them like gray, and that's kind of default. It wasn't supposed to be Deadpool themed, but I see now that the red and the black, there was only one way it could have been taken. The mouth is absolutely horrendous. Overall, it's a shit show. I love the video. The intro was fun. I definitely didn't research Nick Cage as much as I should have. Number 14. Number 14 is easily the new and improved Mona Lisa. I like doing the sunset. That was kind of like the saving grace of the drawing, really. The thing that really pisses me off is this arm right here. It's such a tiny little nub arm floating in the middle. If it weren't for this, I feel like it would have been a good drawing. But it was for this. One limb killed the entire drawing, in my opinion. I still haven't colored in this purse, and I'm still never gonna color in that purse. It's not worth it. Number 13. <sighs> Number 14 is George Bush in a bush. I don't think that the George Bush impression that I did in the beginning of the video was that good. I think it could have been better. I don't hate this one. These three kind of form like a triangle of mediocrity. This one is kind of just like, I'm here. The eagle doesn't look that good. I'll give it that. It's kind of a basic piece. It's kind of um, minimalist. It's definitely the most cartoonish of all the pictures. And for that, I kind of like it. It's no masterpiece. Let's go to number 12. Number 12 is beaver Billy Mays. The thing that sucked is that the beaver nose made it kind of hard to tell if it was Billy Mays. Ideal-wise, this was my favorite one. Everything else-wise, not so good. I think it was a decent video. It may have had the best intro in my opinion, but the artwork itself was lacking. That brings us to number 11. Okay, now we're starting to get to the ones I like. I love this one. This one got fucking snubbed. The third video, it was our Father's Day special. I guess that Father's Day art isn't something that a lot of people look up on Father's Day. I get it. Mother's Day is more important. The fish head was one of the best things. Or the fish head is one of the best turning out things, I think. The shoes were weird. I don't know why I gave him such nice kicks. I like the background on this one, and I like the fuck you, Brady. This kind of starts our descent into meh. Or not, not meh, like, eh. This is our first eh drawing. Oh, let's go on to number 11. Actually, I think this was number 11. Let's go on to number 10. <laughs> Sexy Waluigi. It's a classic. It's always going to be near and dear to my heart. That video took 12 hours to make. Every single thing that could have gone wrong went wrong. It was kind of amazing how awful everything turned out. I was like, wow, I've made two videos and I spent 22 hours making two videos. I kind of have to see this through. This is the video that made the channel happen. The reason it's so like high on the shit list though is this Goomba. That makes it more special to me is that it would have been really good were it not for the Goomba. I think that this is 
the biggest breasted drawing that we've had actually. That's another thing that makes it really special to me. I think nine. Hopefully it's nine. Let's go to nine. I really didn't have to move for this one. Number nine is Suicidal Spider Dad. It's Frank the Spider. This is my Steam profile picture. Or like some variation of this character. It's kind of nuts that like this is the first thing I drew for me. I filmed it using this webcam and the quality was awful but it was just like, it was so fun. It was just some drawing that I drew in sophomore year and now it's built what I do. That video honestly, it has a special place in my heart but it's just bad. It was like 16 minutes I think and a lot of it was just me like fuck. Fuck, it was the most stressful thing I'd ever done at that point. The, th the reason it's it's here at, num at level 9, this person I talk to always says that it looks like Santa. Whenever I FaceTime somebody, they're like, is that a drawing of Santa? And I wish that more people knew that it wasn't Santa. Number 8. First famous person we drew defeated Drake, which is number 8. This was the first video that I really let myself talk shit. It's so hard to just draw people if you're just saying nice things about them. You're talking shit, like, it just comes out beautifully. I remember that I was gonna draw as a kid, and then I decided not to, and I, I don't regret that. This one was the first time that I just tried to jump on a bandwagon of Pusha T. That brings us to number seven. Number seven did very much get snubbed. Sharpening Detective Sloth. I love this one. Heart-wise, it might be one of my favorite ones. The intro was so fun. That was the introduction of Detective Fahey. That was the first time that he was on the job. I like how he ended up looking, like, serious, even though he was just a Sharpie sloth. He still hasn't been found, if I'm caught up. Hopefully one day we will know where Detective Sloth is, but right now, he's somewhere. And if anybody's gonna find him, it's gonna be me. I, I like looking at close at them, again. Let's go to number six, I think. Number six is False Prophet FouseyTube. Everybody was bagging on FouseyTube, and I really never liked this fucking guy. He's got a pretty easy face to draw, so let's just draw him. Visually, it's just, it looks so good. I think joke-wise and alliteration-wise, having False Prophet for FouseyTube is one of my proudest moments. How based and shit-talking it is, it kind of shows where I would like the channel to go. I wish that there was more people doing stupid shit so that I could draw things like this more often. This was the best disc piece that I've had. Number five. Number five is macaroni arting ghost Garfield. I woke up that morning and I was like, I'm gonna do Obama puss. Like Obama octopus, right? There's webs up here, it's gross. I wrote an intro and I just remembered like, I'm not really happy doing this. I just went to Walgreens and I just got a whole bunch of glue. It took an hour to make this goddamn piece of shit. I wish that this one was higher up on the list, but when I got done with the face, I kind of just half-assed it and made like a tiny little ghost tail. I left like a lot of white space at the bottom and then I ended up just writing Rip Garfield Lasagna Dose. It looked really bad when there was a white space, but now it kind of looks bad because there's blue writing. Number four. Okay, please. <laughs> Number four is Communist Mr. Clean. I love making this fucking video. The whole communism aspect of it was funny. Some things that were funny about communism that I said, and I looked at it and I was like, that's really fucked up. The first video that I saw things that I was saying and I was like, let's censor that. Number three. Number three is Gay Godzilla. Probably one of the ones I put the least amount of effort into. It was pandering. So I always knew that I wanted to do Gay Godzilla. I was like, the time is now because it's gay month. That video got fucked up by my editing, my editing software. Don't get Corsell. Let that company go out of fucking business. They're a piece of shit. It's off brand, it's awful. I was so sad when I found out that it fucked up this entire video. This was, um, or the one that I liked the source material the most. I liked the gayness and the Godzilla-ness of the situation. I, I like being self-aware of when you're pandering. Number two. Australian Aquaman. The kangaroo part of it. 
It was fun. When I found out that I could fit the bowl cut on, I was so happy. Well, I can make him look goofy. Let's do it. It would have been number one if the trident didn't come out shit. I got to talk about Kangaroo Jack, Aquaman, Titans. I found time to talk shit too, even though I was having such a good time drawing this. Let's get to number one. It's Mecha Morgan Freeman. I sleep next to it every night. It is Cyborg, like from Teen Titans. Just the whole hand cannon thing. I'm never gonna draw a hand as good as the one in this one. He's got metal freckles. The video is where people said that I copied Rick and Morty. I guess that you can't have a drunk time traveler without it being about Rick and Morty. Kinda irritated that that's what society has become. I'm not gonna get mad. It's got like that perfect cartoon vibe that I really want. I want the drawings to be cartoonish. Yeah, that's basically it. All I have to say about this fantastic one. Okay, ah, I ran over my toe. This completes the first Will Fahey art gallery walk. 16 pieces. Some of them, not so good, but most of them, pretty good. If I wanted to go to an art school, I'd use these as a portfolio. <laughs> that ain't me. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want, check out these videos that these drawings came from. Kind of understand the process. I like sharing that experience with the viewers of me just drawing and doing bad. A lot of these drawings came out shit, but you got to see why it came out shit. I guess that's all I really gotta say. We got 16 pieces down, one season. We'll have another gallery in the next 16 pieces. I look forward to seeing you there. Have a nice day.